again it's April here and welcome back to another studio vlog we are starting quite late this week it's actually Thursday Thursday lunchtime I've got about 15 minutes left before I gotta get back to work so I thought I'd pop in and say hi while I still have some daylight because I keep thinking oh I'll say hi to the vlog later and then it's night time and it's dark and I can't be bothered to like set the lights up and you know so well we got another hour of daylight left okay there's like four hours of daylight left but still it gets dark really early, that's what I'm trying to say. So this week I haven't done much, really. It's been quite nice. Uh, I've done a few orders that I still haven't sent because my ink in my printer ran out, like completely ran out. And it had the warning that said, if you print, you're going to break your printer. So you know what I did? I said, print. And it didn't break the printer. I only had two more pages left to print, but all the colours were wrong. Like... All the colours are wrong so I should have just left it. So I'm waiting for more ink to come because I have to print some stuff out before I can... I can't even print thank you cards or freebie stickers or shipping labels right now because like my printer just won't print anything. So I always leave this to the last minute but this time I have been sensible and I have ordered an entire set of inks. So I'm just going to do that from now on and hopefully, you know, we won't have that problem again. But I will show you one little thing I've done this week that um, I really love. And that is these notebooks. So I think I showed the design of these in the last vlog. Um, and I may have even printed a page out. But I've got them all glued now. Uh, cut, stuck together. That's the oranges. And then we've got the bananas here. And I just, I, I don't know why I just love these so much. They are really easy to do as well. Because if you guys remember the page was set up like this. So there were three. A4. All I had to do is cut, cut, and then they were already in a stack. Like, I didn't even need to count them or anything. I just um, glued them and then trimmed them. So it was very fast. But one thing I have been looking at is how I'm going to ship these guys. So for my notebooks, which is, this is, um, yeah, this is, this is all I'm using because I, like, accidentally cut it wrong. So I've just been using this like a notebook. But for... The notebooks, the lists, and the memo pads are about this size. They have the same amount of pages, they're just different shapes. They won't go through this hole, which is the letter size, when they're in an envelope. So everything I send is going to be a large letter, which sucks because it's expensive. So one of these is 78 grams, which is just under the 100 gram in an envelope. If people want to buy two, it goes up like another pound, depending on what country I'm sending it to. If they want to buy three, it's going to go up even more. So I'm really worried about the packaging because it's really hard to get it right. Like in Etsy, if I would say to America, this is going to be £4.20, which is literally what it is. If it goes up again, it's £5.25. If it goes up again, it's £8. So it's not even like I can say buy another one, it's an extra 50p because... That's the only way Etsy works. Like, I can say this one's £4.20, and then two of them would be £4.70. But that doesn't match up to the weight. So, it's either like I'm going to be charging people too much, or I'm not going to be charging enough and losing money. So, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with that. It's trial and error. Same with the notepads. These guys don't go through. I'm a bit worried. I did some research. So, I had a look what other people are selling it for, and then I basically weighed them all. And I went through all the different kind of like zones, said how much they're all going to be. So it's just going to be a bit of trial and error once I get the door. Mine, can you get it? Yeah, you I wonder what it is. Maybe it's my ink or maybe it's my Christmas present. Is it my Christmas present? <gasps> my Christmas present. It was stuck in America. And I think it's it's here. My, my last Christmas present. I'm very excited. If it is, I'll let you know. But anyway, about these notepads. Like I said, it's going to be a bit of trial and error. So if you guys post notepads and memo pads and you have any tips on how you do your pricing or anything, please let me know below because that would be super helpful um, as these are like the heaviest, most bulky things I'm selling right now and I don't want to lose money but I also don't want to rip anyone off. But I'm going to go find out if this is my present and I'll show you if it is. So it was my Christmas present. It came a bit late but that's fine. And it is a paper making kit, which I definitely hinted at a couple of times, so I kind of already guessed what it was. But it's cool, it's from um, a company called White Dragon Paper, they're from Etsy. And uh, basically it has everything you need to make paper. So it's got some pre-moulded paper here, some little bits that you can kind of 
put in like petals and seeds and stuff and yeah all the equipment you need and then I think if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while you'll know I've been collecting all of my paper in here so like all of my stuff from trimmings things that have gone wrong post-its there's a whole bunch of stuff in there um, definitely have a look at that soon. I kind of want to do it this weekend, but I already had planned to do my big painting So I'll see if we can maybe have a look and just do like a sample a couple of sample sheets before we break into the big box Anyway, I better get back to work because I've gone a little bit over my lunch break and I will uh, pop back later Hi, I'm back. I Wanted to share with you organized my art books in order of what I want to read So I haven't actually read any of these books yet. I know shocking so I'm going to start with some colour and then I'm going to move into business and then I got some like art, art, arty books from a couple of people. This nice one about colour that I actually got for Martin a couple of years ago but I don't think he's ever read it. Some art, art of books from films, Disney book and then actually I've read this one. So all, all across here I've read it. This one here is really nice. It's like a coffee table book almost. I think I've shown it before but it was a few, almost a year ago probably. It's Pixar in colour, and it's like screen grabs from heaps and heaps of films with the main colour that it's using. So it's not really a read book, but it's definitely a cool flip through book. So yeah, I just thought I'd show that off. I really want to get some more art books, but I'm not allowed to. I have to read all of these first before I'm allowed to buy any more. It's just after four, Matt and I are about to head out for our walk run. Uh, we did flexi today so we could start start at 6, 7.30 this morning, finish at four so we could get out before it's dark, before we're too hungry, because running before dinner is always tough when you're hungry. Um, so we're gonna pop out, it's zero degrees outside, so I'll see you when we get back, I guess. So I'm just in the kitchen, make kitchen. I'm just in the kitchen making dinner. We got back from our run about half an hour ago. It was really, really cold out. Like the kind of cold where you can pretend that you're a choo-choo train. That's how cold it was. And we had to do, we did eight minutes, eight minute intervals. So eight minute run, five minute walk, eight minute run. And I was a bit nervous about it honestly, but it was actually fine. And I don't know if I'm getting fit out if it's because it's in the night time or because it was cold. Maybe that helped. But um, yeah, it was really good. So, I sound so surprised, it was so good. But um, yeah, now we're home. I'm gonna have sweet and sour tofu and veggies and rice for dinner, I'm so excited. Uh, I haven't had rice for ages. We had risotto last night. Martin reminded me that we had risotto, but that doesn't count, right? Risotto and rice are very different. Tell me what you think. Is risotto rice? Okay, this is dinner. It's uh, sweet and sour veggies with rice and crispy baked tofu. It's pretty good. Tell me if you've tried tofu and if you like it. Not everyone does, surprisingly. So I just finished packing some of my orders and I used my old printer, trusty old Canon, hadn't been turned on for about, what, two, three months? Still works though, so that's good. Good for a pickle. Um, the only problem is these did take a bit longer than expected. They took a little bit longer than expected because there's all this new stuff now that we have to do with like codes and numbers and tax and stuff because of Brexit. So, um... It's very confusing, like I, I went through a whole bunch of forums for about half an hour trying to figure it out and there's like one special number that we need to get, or don't need to get, I don't know, it's called the EORI number, but basically everyone was saying best just to get it because it's free to get, I mean you just apply for it, I literally got it in five minutes. So yeah, then I had to put it on all of my little uh, custom stickers and it's like literally 1003 numbers long so it take quite a while to um to type that down yep now what was it saying i forgot so that's done it's now half past seven and i'm actually feeling a bit tired but i'll probably try and do some art or something because i haven't done anything all day so yeah let's see let's see what we get up to i have literally every light going apart from my salt lamp let's turn that bad boy on um and i thought we could just do old the old classic sketch and, and chat haven't done that for a while uh, i've got this notebook 
it was meant to be part of my 50 day finishing all my projects but guys I, I couldn't do it I think I mentioned in my last vlog I just <laughs> I just couldn't do it um so I have been drawing these the last couple of days I did these owls this owl is so cute um and I did these owls yesterday and I also did these um these are for my um big painting so I'm gonna try and do that at the weekend and I'm actually gonna make a video about it like a an art video and I have literally one uh two I have three spreads left you know what I think we can do it I think we can do it tonight I do need to run to the post box to drop those orders off before bed I am really really tired because I literally had the worst sleep last night I'm yawning I'm yawning so much um so earlier when my printer had paper in it it basically had these label this late this uh, label paper that I use for my labels and it must have had my thank you cards like all queued up and it printed this out so I thought um waste not want not let's pop it down and see if we can turn it into something and it's so cold in this room I'm literally I have a hot water bottle um on the floor and I've got my feet tucked under it all right, so this doesn't fill an entire page, but maybe we could just pop it here. Kind of like, um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with it. This is almost like art journaling, which I love doing, but I haven't done it for a long time. And it's just like, sometimes when you make mistakes, when you're making stuff like printing things out, or I don't know, you mess up a piece of an artwork, but you still want to keep the, the paper it's just nice to reuse it like this. Oh no no. Mr. Um Mr. Sharpener head fell off. At least he didn't break. This is Mr. Sharpener head. <laughs> he fell on the floor. He's a bit unsteady because his legs aren't very even, but we like him. What do I do when I have no idea what to do? This is basically just some stickers on a page now. So I think we should get some paint on it and the paint will kind of help us i think that yellow is a no though let's do these two they kind of match the blue and the red yeah i'll just go from there <gasps> okay i mean that came out a lot faster than expected you know that's like almost too much paint one could say so it is Thursday, like I mentioned. I actually cannot believe it is Friday tomorrow. I thought this week would go so slowly because it's the first week back at work, but it has honestly gone so fast. And the funny thing is, I've been I've been super quiet at work because I guess all our clients are also coming back from the holidays. It is a nice little kind of gentle way to come back into work. Um, I just need to get some water. Started working on a couple of uh, little projects today, just kind of like the initial planning stages, so that's cool. But yeah, I can't believe it's Friday. Uh, yesterday I had a video that came out, you guys may have seen it, it was how I edit my videos video. And I was a bit nervous about this because it's not really the type of videos I've done in the past. I did my zine series, How to Zine, and I was really proud of that when I did it. Because it took me a long time to do I did like a video I made five videos and I did them uh, one after another for a, for a week all about how I made my first scene and I still think they're good videos but it was back when, when I was first like making videos and I was speed talking the entire way through I scripted the whole th whole thing but I was like basically speaking so fast and I think it was probably a little bit rushed because I don't really feel c confident doing like tutorial stuff um which is strange because i have been a teacher in the past like i used to teach i've taught in summer camps i've taught in schools um i used to do like even peer tutoring when i was in uni which is when you kind of like help your fellow students when they're struggling a bit with certain things so i have taught in the past and i know that i'm like i can teach but I guess I just haven't done it for so long or it's just more of a technical subject so I kind of feel a little bit awkward and like <laughs> I don't know I don't know like how much to go into 
On one hand, I don't think it was that helpful because it didn't like super go into detail, which is why I included so many videos in the description. And on the other hand, I think it was good because it was like top level, so it was more kind of like a, a tips thing. But Emma, um, in her video, she like bigged me up big time. If you guys have watched Emma's video, she mentions me like four times and she says, April's going to do an amazing job and showing you how to edit videos. And I was like, I should have watched this video before I made my video because um, I probably should have put more work into it. But I think everyone enjoyed it that watched it and it was really fun. Like, it was a, a very strange collab because normally when you do a collab, you like, or do an art together. And this was more of a kind of like a, a theme collab. So... It was different, but it was also it was also nice just to chat with Emma about it. I was going through Pinterest and I found some. I was in my birds and uh, I came across this secretary bird, and I haven't drawn one before. And I thought it might just fit nicely on the page and fits into the theme. I know that robins are a little bit different than secretary birds. I love the shape of this bird. It's like so angular. Uh, I've almost finished my update. I have. Uh, finish my my thingy my bobs that I showed you. Um, by thingy my bobs, I, I know you guys all know what I'm talking about, but by just in case, by thingy my bobs, I mean the list pads. And I I I decided that's going to be my last product because I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of products, guys. One of my goals for this uh, update was to get to a hundred listings on Etsy, and I didn't think I was going to achieve it because I had. I only had 74, and I was like, no way am I going to get 25 listings done, you know, just with notepads and memo pads and stuff. So I did a count up the other day, and I, I got to, so I had a look in my Etsy, and there's actually, there was um, a couple of things that had sold out, so they weren't even included. So I re-renewed -re them, I'm so bad at renewing stuff, I renewed them, and it took me up to like a nut. It took me up to basically having 99 products and then I found another thing that was unactive so I activated it I activated <laughs> activated it was a zine I'm actually gonna be at a hundred listings which is crazy so I'm hoping that things go well and also I'm thinking with the notebooks like I have three different options of paper and I'm thinking if uh, just see what's popular and then we can always phase some of the paper out like if the plain paper never sells or sells like one compared to the dotted paper which sells like 25 just get rid of the plain paper you know what do their feet look like whoa their feet look so weird they're like dinosaur feet so this week i've been working on my update which is why i haven't really been on camera because it's a bit boring really uh it's just kind of like printing you know, uh, when I was making the notebooks and the memo pads, I've kind of showed that on the last few vlogs, so I didn't want it to get too boring, so I just kind of like was super chill, did it by myself this week, without an audience apart from mine, obviously, because I, I have to show him everything to get his approval as my creative uh, manager. <laughs> so yeah, another big thing I've been doing is trying to prepare for Patreon. Pa Patreon? I'm very, very excited for Patreon. I mentioned it in my goals video and I will probably be mentioning it a few more times over the next month to six weeks as I'm planning it and maybe it'll be helpful for you guys to see, to like watch me plan it if you are like planning your own one or thinking about it in the future. I think that might be cool because I've enjoyed watching other people in the past when they're kind of getting ready to do Patreon and just to see kind of what they do, what goals they set, what tiers they do, things like that. So I'm definitely going to be including that. Also, because I've had a couple of uh, tips from people saying that I should, because I was basically thinking about, I was thinking about doing my Patreon in February, which is not long, not long away at all. And I had a couple of tips from some lovely people saying that maybe I should wait a little bit longer, or one, so I can prepare some things. So it's already got some nice videos or blogs or posts on when I open the patreon because there's nothing worse than you know joining someone's patreon and it's just like blank so i think it, it'd be nice to be prepared but also for the uh, marketing aspect so just to let people know that i'm bringing one out and i thought they were both really good suggestions so i've taken them on board and also because we are so honestly guys it's january is going fast it's already a week into january and I recommend my update comes out. I'll probably have a few days 
where I'm doing orders, hopefully. Um, hopefully where I get a few orders coming in, so I'll be busy with those. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the perfect pink for this guy's legs. Yeah, so I'll be busy with Etsy for a week, I reckon. And then after that, I think I want to focus on Patreon for a couple of weeks, trying to um, iron out all the kinks. And after that, when Patreon's up, move back to Etsy and start looking at my next update. Because my next update I want it to come out in, I know this is really soon, but my next update I want it to come out in April. And uh, I know I've probably got to start planning for that soon. Even just, uh, I, I know what I want to do. It's going to be, the, well, should I tell you guys? Or should we wait? Let's wait. No, fuck it, I'll tell you. Okay, it's going to be the um, Animal Sanctuary one. And if you guys remember, when I opened uh, my Etsy shop, I think the after the first update, I said, the next update is going to be Animal Sanctuary. And then I didn't do it. <laughs> I did the 100 day project instead. So, yeah, I really want to get back to the Animal Sanctuary one. And I thought it would be perfect because it's coming up to um, spring and Easter. So, yeah, thinking ahead, planning for the future. That's one of my goals this year to kind of, like, be more organised. Especially if I want to open a Patreon, have my shop, um, do YouTube, and also work on an illustration portfolio, which is another one of my big goals. Man, I'm going to be busy girl. So, got to definitely get organised and stay organised. So, yeah, that's all the, um, all the things I've been thinking about that I haven't been chatting about with you guys. But I'm sure we'll go into more of those in the future anyway. So the rest of this vlog will probably just be kind of super chill. Getting ready for my shop update. I've got to take my photos at the weekend. Which I'm not looking forward to. I hate taking product photos. But it has to be done. So I'll probably pop back tomorrow. It's Friday. I've got to work. So I'll probably pack. So tomorrow I have another busy day at work. So I will pop back sometime in the... Yeah. <sighs> anyway, um, so I'm just going to finish this, but I'll probably keep recording so you can watch the whole thing. Alright, oh, oh, Mr. Shop and the head's down again. Um, I finished. <laughs> finished. I didn't go too detailed because I actually really liked the simplicity of it. Not because I'm lazy. Because I like the simplicity. And basically, I spent a couple of minutes doing this um, dashy thing. I just really love doing these. And honestly, I was going to fill up the entire page. And then I thought, April, what are you doing? Give yourself a break. <laughs> Don't do that. So I didn't. And I added these little blue triangles instead, which um, are part of the pattern behind. So yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. quite like that page. Two more to go. I really want to draw some teapots. I don't know why. I just want to draw some teapots. I don't want to do them with um pencil i want to do them with actually i don't even know if this is this may tear through the page so i have to find out but i really want to do some pen drawings which i did in one of my other sketchbooks and i really like it i might try and do that for a bit because that's quite relaxing actually so it's um saturday afternoon now i was meant to do my uh, etsy product photos today but i kind of like it didn't happen uh I don't really have an excuse, I just didn't do it. And now it's almost 3.30, so the sun's going to go down in about an hour. So I thought I'd push it to tomorrow morning, and then I'll definitely do it then. This is kind of like how I normally work when I have to do stuff. If I really don't want to do it, I normally just push it to the last minute until I have to do it. Probably not the healthiest way to work, but I've been doing it since I was a teenager, and it's, it hasn't gone wrong for me so far. So that's what, um, that's what I'm going to do. It's the day tomorrow, because I need to get all of my products up and listed so I can open the shop on Monday. So today, I haven't really done much, played some Stardew Valley, waited for Martin's brother to come. He drove from his house to drop off our Christmas presents, so we like did a little exchange in the car park. And he got us a couple of really cool presents. One was um, a fun board game, which I don't know if we can play because it's four player right now. So maybe we can find some people to play with that later, but it's like an arty one. So that one looked good. And also a big box of vegan treats, which I was very excited about. And we may have already accidentally eaten a pack of cookies so they were really good um and now it is drawing time so i'm just gonna chill out and watch some vlogs and i'm gonna try this new setup so i have this board that martin got me for christmas i haven't used it yet this is the lowest angle it can go so i'm just gonna give it a try these were the teapots and stuff i did last night and then i've got one more page left so i'm gonna try and draw these flowers that i got at the supermarket yesterday 
not the best bunch in the world to be honest half of them are squished and half of them are missing petals but we'll give it a go and i got my ipad there so i can watch youtube and yeah let's just uh finish this sketchbook this is a deep dive into my youtube subscriptions so I think I'll probably start with Liz, and then I've got a few more in here that I want to watch. Sasha Fitzgerald, Bia, let's see, Teal. I normally start with people that I know most first, and then I'll work my way back through the list and uh, see what Melanie Chadwick's up to. So that'll be good. So it's basically like 90% art stuff. I've got a bit of yoga in there. I've got um, Beatrice Caruso, who's like doing a weight loss thing random stuff I'm not quite sure what that's about and then you got to have the game stuff in there obviously so yeah bit of everything but we're gonna start with this I'm actually really curious to see how this is gonna work drawing I'm a bit nervous to be honest should I just go straight in with paint oh actually if I'm painting and it's really watery this will go like I'm also interested to see what the camera angle is going to be like when I film it. So yeah, a little bit of experimentation today. Because I don't want to get the iPad in. And I don't really want to get the windowsill in because it's a bit messy. kind of just want to focus on the sketchbook, don't you? I demonstrated what it was like when it was moving backwards but now it's not oh I had to push it really hard then to move it backwards oh did it come unstuck no I thought Martin fixed it um no it worked it's just because I pushed it really hard yeah it's this bit here look this right can you guys see that so this is the frame and it's got this like sticky tape which we got for something I can't remember now. Oh, it's for the LED lights that didn't work. Um, so yeah, we got the sticky tape on, and basically it's just like stopping it from moving backwards. It's still on there. Yeah, it's on there. Oh. Okay, that didn't work because it came unstuck. But look, low tech solution. I've just popped by there my Ganzai Tambi watercolor palette, so it can't go anywhere now. I finished. It's uh, the lighting's terrible. Sorry, I got this light here which is shining. I got my lamp on which is yellow, and then it's basically nighttime outside now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's a bit, uh, but uh, it's you know, it is what it is. And I finished my uh, sketchbook. So thoughts on, whoa, creaky. Thoughts on this drawing board. Okay. Alexa, turn Martin's lamp to a hundred. Um, okay, so pros. I enjoyed not bending over. My neck's not sore anymore. And actually, it was nice because the sketchbook was closer to my face than normal, which is probably why I didn't have to bend so much. That was a good pro. Uh, cons is I do quite enjoy having my arm, like, leaning on the desk. So now my arm's a little sore from, like, holding it up a bit. Uh, another con is you can't kind of move the page and twist it and turn it, which is what I like to do a lot when I'm drawing. So you have to kind of always keep it straight. That was definitely a pro. No, that was a con. That was definitely a con. So more cons and pros right now, but I'm going to still keep using it. Um, another thing which I thought was going to be a con, turned out to be an okay, was the iPad on the left of me because it's like right on my face. It's almost like I can see it better than when it's in front of me. So that was good. Uh, 
if you guys like to watch these when you draw. And so yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep practicing with it and seeing what I like. Maybe use it for more like paintings and keep sketchbook simple stuff uh, on the table. And behind me, on the bed, my inks arrived. Because tomorrow not only do I have to take photos and edit them and put them online, I also need to restock my shop to make sure I have enough stickers, thank you cards, um, freebie stickers, things like that ready to go. So if I get orders on Monday, I'm not floundering and I can just make notebooks and things like that if needed. So, and also I think I want to make some more list pads because I only have three right now. And it would be really nice to have ten. Of each because I have 10 each of the memo pads and then I can just say there's 10 there and once they're gone I'm, I'll just restock them and then put renew them again so it's not like a constant I have to be making them all the time because the memo pads are a little bit fiddly anyway that's all um not sure if I'll pop back on tonight because uh, I'm honestly I have no idea what I'm doing tonight so maybe you'll see me maybe you won't hello it is Sunday morning and I'm in the lounge. Just got the kettle boiling in the background for a coffee. And I don't know why, oh my God, there's, there's a guy with two adorable pugs outside. Pugs are like my favorite dogs, but we're not allowed them because Martin's really allergic to dogs. And I've heard that pugs are one of the worst dogs for um, allergies. But every time I see a park, I just melt because they're so cute. So we were meant to wake up at like eight. We did. And go for a run. We didn't. Instead, I'm making breakfast and we're going to play some Stardew Valley. So probably go for a run later. Hopefully. I mean, that's the plan. But you know how these things go. It's a Sunday. So I'm just getting ready to take photos. I've uh, cleared this windowsill apart from Felix, who scares me because he gets his little he's got these furry little spikes and when they get in you they do not come out so i try not to move them as much as i can so i've got this light here even though we've got the window coming in there's a lot of shadow at the back there so hopefully that will help we got this light if we need it but i don't really like this light then i got all my paper i got only a few props i'm not even sure what i'm going to use uh, some string, some washi tape, some little highlighters, and then on the bed, we got all of my A6 notebooks, my A5, my memo pads, and my list pads. It's not a very nice day out, it's foggy and overcast, so I think it's going to be a lot of editing with these photos to make them look good. That's just how it goes sometimes. I accidentally cut these out as die cut, which is really annoying. But um, ages ago I made these like little labels that I thought I could stick onto my A6 and my A5 notebooks. But I'm going to take a photo of them now. Um, but I was thinking, because I was going to put them in like a cellophane bag with the label on instead of a belly band. But now I'm thinking, what if people buy more? You can only fit probably one or two maximum in these. And then also that's a lot of cellophane to use when probably these notebooks don't need it if it's just going to be in an envelope. I don't know. I know most people just send them out probably with a belly band on. So I may look at that now. I may not even post these photos, but I'm just going to take the photos just in case and then I'll have another thing tonight. So this is what they look like and I actually don't even know if I like that. I think it looks a little bit tacky. I'm not sure. We'll take the photo anyway, but I probably won't use it. It's about one now. It took about an hour and a half to do all those photos and then I tidied up. Um, I've got some stuff printing on the printer for some like, more uh, list pads. And Matt and I are going to head to the woods for a run. Normally we would go in the morning, but uh, we don't want to. We want to play Stardew Valley. So it's a bit late now, and I'm actually really hungry. So this is going to be fun. Pug alert. Pug alert. Martin told me the neighbour had a pug, and he's there. Oh my god, he's so cute. Can the guy see me filming him? We got back from our run. We went to the forest for the first time since like starting this walk run program. We went to the canal once, but the canal was like super flat and the forest is a little bit up and down, up and down. So I was a little bit nervous, but actually it was okay. We found like a flattish kind of path and it's quite nice to be out in nature. So yeah, we did that, got home, had lunch and watched some telly and now I'm back to work. So I've got a to-do list here. 
but I still have the main bulk of my Etsy stuff which is going to be doing all of my editing for my photos and then setting all the listings up so thankfully thank you past April who spent the last week every day for about half an hour making dummy listings so I have pretty much all of my listings done I just need to add the photos and then like spell check and maybe change a few little bits to kind of make them a little bit more interesting because I got a little bit tired towards the end when you have to make listing after listing after listing you kind of run out of things to say and you just kind of start repeating yourself so it's always good to take a couple of days and go back and kind of like refresh it so we've got to do that I'm also trying to finish off my 50 hour um, challenge video that I've almost got edited. I just need to do a couple of bits with like filling in some silence. So that's either going to be finding music, which I hate doing, or putting voiceover in. So I'm going to do that. And then lastly, I've got to restock a whole bunch of stuff. Martin is in the lounge right now. He's probably going to be in there the rest of the afternoon playing games. So I've got the printer going in there. But I doubt he's going to hear it because he literally has the volume up so loud. I can hear the music. I shut the door and I can hear the music from here. He's just like immersing himself in the game or something. I don't know. Enough chit chat. Let's uh, get on with it so we can maybe relax tonight. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but let's let's try. Okay, so it is 7.30pm now. I think I've been doing this for maybe five hours. I've watched... Four episodes of Gilmore Girls, two studio vlogs, and I've almost finished Louis Thoreau's Weird Weekends, episode 22, <laughs> in case you're good. Uh, so that's quite a lot of telly I've been watching while I've been editing my photos. The photos turned out not that great because lighting again, it's a combination of bad lighting, me rushing and not really enjoying the process, so I just try and finish it. And then... Uh, but I think it's just bad background colours. I think that teal and the yellow really doesn't work. Like I think I just really need to rethink and redesign all of my photos. But obviously I'm not going to do that now. Uh, when this update goes out I'm going to have 100 listings. That's going to be a lot of photos to redo in the future. But my neck sore, my back sore, my eyes are sore. And I've got um, six, six more products to... Sorry, if you can hear sound, Martin has his bloody volume up so loud on that game. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna have dinner in about 10 minutes, Martin's just cooked dinner. And then I've got to come back after and finish the rest of the products. I have six more to do. Um, I still have so much stuff on my to-do list. I was meant to finish vlogs and edit stuff and um, export videos and restock stickers. I've got all of my stickers and thank you cards printed. So I do need to stick them through Gertie, but I probably will do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll get up before work and do it. But <sighs> I'm tired. Hello, it's uh, Monday lunchtime, live from the office. But not really, this is pre-recorded. I have uh, finished uploading all of my photos to Etsy. Did that before work this morning. And now I've got to finish my vlog, hopefully in the next half an hour. Uh, it should be okay. Just literally have to pop it into After Effects and export it out. So that should definitely go up before my Etsy shop is uh, updated tonight, which is going to be at 8pm. So uh, for all the products that you've seen over the last few weeks, they're all going to be on there. Notebooks, memo pads, uh, list pads, and that's it basically. Stationary update. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching like it all come together. Uh, it was a lot of hard work, so I hope that people like them. That's it. <laughs> that's all I need to do. So I get my vlog up and it's done call it a day so when my shop opens tonight just see if some orders come through and I'll probably spend tonight packing orders and making them if that happens hopefully it does and uh yeah we'll be back next week with another vlog I don't know if I have another video I know I have a video planned I do have another video planned but I can't remember if I'm bringing it out next Thursday or this Thursday so keep an eye out I'll probably put it on Instagram too but that is going to be my 50 hour finishing all my projects video which I've also been working on this week but that is all for today I hope that you guys enjoyed the studio vlog and uh I will catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye